Okay, so good morning everyone. Welcome to yoga. I'm Trish. We're going to do a nice little flowing relaxing session today. Nothing too intense. So let's start off this morning in tabletop. Let's come up on four fours. Wrist underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Hands shoulder width apart, knees and feet hip width apart. Okay, shift the weight slightly forwards on your kneecap so you're not crunching into your knee joints. You can face whichever way you like to have. And then lengthening up through the spine. Inhale, and then as we exhale, tuck the tailbone under, belly to the spine, spine to the ceiling, opening up through the backs of your shoulders, tucking your chin into the throat, and then pointing the crown of the head to the mat. Opening up through the back of the body. And then as you inhale, widening through hips and collarbones, keeping the belly hugging into the spine, lengthening up vertebrae at a time, reaching the heart center forward between the hands, shoulders away from the ears, maybe reaching the neck and the eye gaze to the sky if your neck allows. So moving with the breath. Opening up through the front and the back of the body. And just going out a little bit deeper with each breath. Just starting to imagine that your spine is like a bike chain. And from the base of the spine, you want to feel one link move, then the next, then the next, then the next, all the way up to the crown of the head. So feeling that articulation in the spine. Just opening up through the front and the back. Just creating a little bit more space in between each link as we deepen with each breath. All right, let's do one more here. And then on your next inhale, staying in your arch shape, we're going to come through knees, chest, and chips, so shoulders away from the ears, dropping the chest, and then sliding the hips forwards, and then slide the elbows out. Come up into Sphinx. Turn toenails on the ground, rolling the tailbone under, and lengthening all the way up to the crown of the head. Inhale, reaching the heart forwards. As we exhale, keep rolling the tailbone back, and then rolling the TBA band back towards the bum where the undy sit. Keep squeezing through the backs of your shoulder blades. Just feeling a nice opening up through the hips, through your abdomen, opening up through the heart. Reaching the heart forward. Maybe reaching your elbow, feel like you're reaching your elbows back towards your hips. Do a little squeeze through the kidneys and the adrenals. Let's get, keep the tailbone rolling under, belly stays hugging into the spine. From here, we're going to inhale, lengthen. As we exhale, we're going to look over the left shoulder. So just feeling a little squeeze through the kidneys on that left side, but without feeling any crunching through the bones. In the back, inhale back to center. Exhale to the other side. Keep the shoulder sliding down the back. Heart center still reaching forwards. Inhale to center. Exhale to the first side. Inhale back. Exhale, second side. And one more on each side. Inhale, exhale. And the last one. Inhale back. Exhale to the second side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale up. Exhale, roll your tailbone under and then roll back into child's pose. So you can have the knees together out wide. You can have your little, uh, hips off the heels a little bit if you like. And then just widen through the hips. Maybe sway the hips from side to side. Just get a nice little stretch out through your back. Take a couple of breaths here. As you inhale, expanding out across the back. As you exhale, just softening through the hips, the belly and the chest. That widening through the hip crease, getting a nice release out through the lower back. Take one more breath here. And from here, I'm going to walk across to the side. So keeping the uh, hips as pushing back towards the heels as you can, keeping the belly hugging in, and then walking yourself across diagonally, squaring the torso against the thigh. As you exhale, melting the head down. So if you can, push that other hip back towards the heel. So we're feeling a really nice stretch across the back. And from here, if your hand is uh, in line with the knee, you can just start to gently start to roll that armpit down towards the mat. So you're just going to feel a really nice stretch through the lats as we do that. So we're trying to reach the, melt the armpit towards the mat here. And just breathing into the side of the body. And then from here, we're going to take the outside hands. So, so if you're going, uh, going towards the uh, left, then you're going to take the outside hand and you're going to bring it on top. 
Lengthen the spine, inhale as we exhale, we're going to twist and open. So you can bring your hips a little bit further forward if you need to. And then we're going to sort of twist and open ourselves to the side. So keep the spine nice and long. And then lengthening the spine, belly hugs in. So we're still on the um, side and then we're going to twist towards the midline of the body, keeping the belly hugging into the spine. Trying to keep the upper arms in line with the ears. So we're opening now towards the middle of the body, towards the inside of the knees. And then let's release the hands. Lengthen the spine, walk back to center for a moment. Coming back into neutral, just take a couple of breaths here, swaying the hips from side to side, check in with the body. Notice how you feel on one side compared to the other. And let's walk around to the other side. So hugging the belly into the spine and then walking diagonally across to the other side. Inhale as we exhale, melting down. So we start by pushing the hips back to the ground. So first, I'm going to face this way. So first you feel with the, the head square, you're feeling that stretch across the back. Push back into the hips, into your grounding hip especially, the, one, the opposite one. And then from here, once you have a nice opening, Let's, we're going to start to melt that armpit down towards the floor. So you're going to start to feel that stretch through your lats. So we're bringing the armpit further down. Just breathing into it. And then coming back up. So we're squaring the body again over the torso, over the thigh. Then we're taking the outside hand, bringing it on top. And then if you want, you can bring your hips a little bit forward. And as you exhale, keeping the upper arms in line with the ears, we're twisting away from the midline of the body. Now we're opening the ribs. And then belly hugs in. Inhale to center. Exhale, twisting in towards the midline. All right, let's release it here. Come back to the middle. And just take a couple of breaths. Coming back into neutral child. Just breathing into the back, maybe swaying the hips from side to side. Keep your elbows soft. And when you're ready, let's ground into the hands, roll the tailbone under, and then keeping the chin rolled in, let's roll ourselves forwards into planking on our knees. Tuck your toes under, inhale. And then exhale, slide your hips back and come up into down dog. So just stretching out in our first down dog of the day. And then just widening out across the hips. Keep the weight pushing back into the hips. And then walking out through the legs. I gaze towards the belly or in between the feet. So that the back of the neck is nice and long. Maybe swaying the hips from side to side. Maybe a little shake of the head, like you're saying no, releasing the neck, maybe nodding it up and down, like you're saying yes. Okay, from here, let's take our left leg, inhale, maybe just reach it up, open that hip, maybe bending that knee, and then circling that, and then bringing it forth. So let's bring it in between the hands to start. And then making sure that your knee is stacked above the ankle. Shift the weight forwards onto the back kneecap so we're not crunching into the knee joint. Now, if you want, feel free to grab a block or two and you can grab your blocks and pop them onto either side of that front leg. Okay, if you need to, whichever variation. And then from here, we're just gonna start to, so maybe we'll just come up first. So tuck the tailbone under, let's just come up, open up. Get that nice stretch through the hip flexors. Opening up through the ribs, the lungs, and then as we exhale, bring the hands back down, either onto your mat or onto your block. Okay, so now we're going to keep the core really active, keep that hip crease nice and wide, and then very slowly, let's just gently start to slide back and forth. I'm just thinking about the quality of movement here. And so there is no weight in that hip, and not a lot of weight in the back knee. So all your weight is in your core, you're keeping that core active, your pelvic floor is active. It's your abdominal muscles holding the weight. So there's not actually much weight on that front leg. And then as we start to slide back and forth, maybe just getting a nice release. 
the nerves in here. Maybe we're just starting to maybe starting to bring the hips a little bit further back as we start to open up through the hamstring a little bit more. I'm not pushing into it, so we're just coming to the edge of the range of motion and then coming out of it and always maintaining that really nice smooth fluid motion so we're not we're crunching. And then from that uh, back and forth motion, let's gently start to make a little circular motion. So we're going to start to circle the hips and then maybe you can bring start to bring both hands onto inner, the inside of that front leg and heel toe that leg out a little bit. And so from here, we're just going to start to circle a little bit as we start to bring the hips a little lower down, keeping that hip crease nice and wide. And making sure that front knee and ankle are still stacked and then circle it back the other way. Just breathing into the hip. You're starting to roll onto the nice edge of that um, front leg as well if it feels comfortable. And then if it feels good, maybe coming a little bit lower. So you can maybe come down onto your forearms, onto your block, or maybe just uh, staying on your hands if that's more comfortable, or maybe bring the forearms onto the ground as we continue to circle the hips. All right, let's come back up if you're on your forearms. Let's come back up onto uh, our, our, our elbows, come back up onto the hands. Tuck, uh, push your big toes into the mat. So if we're on the knife edge of the foot, we're rolling it back. Tuck your back toes under, lift the back knee and just sway the hips back and forth for a moment. So releasing the psoas. Let's come into a wild thing from here. Bring that uh, back knee back to the floor. Front leg comes around, swiveling on the other knee. And then from here, lifting out of the hip, lift out of the shoulder, open it up, stretch it out. So we just want to really get that counter stretch for that front hip that we've been working on. Pulsing and then exhale, bring the hands back down, knees back down. Inhale, arching. Exhale, rolling under. Inhale, lengthen and arch. And then let's come through knees, chest and chin again. So shoulders away from the ears, slide it through. And then come up into Sphinx or Baby Cobra. Get a nice opening up through the heart center here. And only coming as high as is comfortable. So we're going to do our three little turns now. So if, if when you're in this position in um, Cobra, if it, if it doesn't feel comfortable, come a little bit lower down. So lengthening the spine, make sure that your tailbone rolling under inhale. Exhale, looking to one side. Feeling a nice squeeze through the kidneys and adrenals. Inhale back. Exhale, second side. Inhale back. Exhale, first side. Squeeze the two here. And then inhale, exhale, second side. Inhale back to center. Roll the chin into the throat. And then folding back into down dog or child's pose. Take a couple of breaths here. And just stretching out through the back, walking out through the legs. And then you can come into tabletop or stay in dog if that's more comfortable. So we just check in with the hips, notice how your hips are feeling one side compared to the other. And let's take the other leg, open the hip up, bend that top knee, square the shoulders, trace a circle, and then step that foot forwards in between the hands, come onto your back knee. All right, from here, make sure that your knee and ankle are stacked, shifting the weight onto the kneecap on the back leg. Inhale, coming up, let's open up here. Inhale, the arms up. So we just feel a nice opening through that hip flexors on one side and then roll the tailbone under, open through the chest. Exhale, bring the hands down onto blocks or onto the mat. And then from here, widening up through that hip and then just gently starting to draw the hips back and forth. I'm starting to explore that movement. Just breathing into it. And so we're not really bouncing, but we're just doing this nice, smooth kind of motion. 
And then you can just feel into that in range if it feels tight at one point, and then you can maybe just release out of it when you come back into that end point. Maybe it feels a little bit looser. And from here, let's bring our hands onto the inside, walking that foot, heel toeing out, and then starting to do the circles. It's breathing into the hips. Other way. And then find your option here. So, just if you go a little bit deeper, make sure you're also uh, keeping that alignment of knee and ankle. Mm. All the weights keeping, uh, staying in our core so we're not collapsing into the back hip as well. Just exploring that range of motion within that circle. So you might find a little one part of the circle that feels a little bit more tight and you might just want to be sort of flossing around that area if that feels good for you. All right, when you're ready, let's ground that front big toe. If you're on the knife edge of the foot, ground the big toe, tuck your back toes under, lift the back knee, sway the hips back and forth. Just releasing the psoas here, take that knee back down, front leg comes around for, thread the, uh, for a wild thing, so as we swivel around, now we get that really nice opening up through that hip, take that leg to where it's comfortable, lift out of the hip, lift out of the shoulder, and stretch it out here, opening up. Breathing into that top part of the body, get a beautiful stretch. So if you're sideways, maybe reach that top hand up or open the chest. And then exhale, come back down. Hand comes down, knee comes down. Inhale and arch. Exhale and round. Inhale and arch. And then let's come through. Maybe just breathe into the lower back first and just check in with your hips. And then let's come through knees, chest and chin, coming back into our back bend. And then find your option here. And let's two, uh, one, two on each side. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, keeping the tailbone rolling under, looking over the shoulder at the heel behind. Inhale back, exhale, second side. Inhale back, exhale, first side. Make sure there's no crunching in the bones in your lower back. Inhale, exhale, second side. From here, roll the chin to the throat and then roll yourself back into child's pose or down dog. Stretch it out here. Taking some nice deep breaths. Look at the hamstrings, feel a little bit more open. The hips come out and we can melt the belly to the thighs. Keep widening out across your back, widening out through your hips and collarbones. And then try to draw those lower ribs back towards the hips. Right, we're going to take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, next inhale, let's come up onto our toes and bring ourselves back into tabletop. So I'm just going to tuck my hair up. Okay. So come into your tabletop and I'm not sitting in my head as well. All right, let's take our left leg, extending that left foot back. Okay, now we're going to take the right hand out, creating a pointer, and then lengthening from the fingertips all the way out to the toes. So find your balance here. Notice how your body wants to twist. So we're lengthening out and then start to engage your core. So drawing your uh, ribs to your hips. Pelvic floor loose, belly hugs into the spine and drawing the bottom of your right shoulder towards the top of your left glutes. As you do that, you should feel the body sort of stabilize and lift a little bit through your core. Lengthening inhale. Now as, as we exhale, we're going to round and curl, chin to chest and elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and curl, pushing into the shin of your other foot. The balance, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale and curl. Inhale, lengthen, bring the hand back to the ground, open that knee out to the side. Let's trace the circle with the knee. And mobilizing that hip a little bit more and then back the other way. Okay, 
and take that foot back, closed hip, open the hip, so your toes point to the side, bring that foot out so your foot is hovering in line with your hip, then bring the foot to the ground, so we look like this. Okay, from here, inhale, come up, toes in line with knee, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders. Okay, back toes can be tucked under or untucked, whatever's more comfortable. And so have uh, sometimes with the camera, it's hard to see exactly the angle. So I want you to make sure you're really pushing down into the knife edge of that foot so that your uh, everything's stable here. And your toes, to the st at the start, they're pointing forwards, but we can later move it along. You have, try to have it roughly in line with your knee. Let's, from here, let's widen out across the hips. So there's space, and then we're gonna hug the belly in as we exhale. And twist towards the left. Bring your hands onto your blocks onto either side. You can bend that knee a little bit if you like. And then from here, we're going to just feel that nice stretch across the back. Just breathing into it. So with this angle of the foot, it's a you feeling a little bit of a different stretch to when we came forwards before with our half hand, with our hamstring stretch. We're feeling on the inside of the legs, maybe still a turning at the back. All right, one more breath here. Now we're going to engage the core and your hands are just tracing, but your back is very round. So it's your core that's, uh, that's uh, moving you and you're rounding your spine as we trace our hands in a little semicircle around. So, so think about rather than doing this, think about when I do this, with my chin tucked in, I'm feeling this beautiful stretch all across my back as I come along. Then we're going to bring the right hand in line with the knee. Then we're going to open ourselves up here. First, let's lift out of that bottom hand, extending the energy upwards, open the chest. And then from here, if it feels good, maybe taking that top hand out and then just getting that little bit more opening through the hip, lifting out of your bottom shoulder, lift out of your obliques and your hip on the underside. If you take the eye gaze up, so just getting this really nice stretch here. All right, from here, we're engaging the core to bring ourselves up. So push into your bottom shin and then inhale yourself up as you exhale. We're going to come into our dragon twist. So you're going to take your hand behind. So you're going to look like this. Hug the belly into the spine. Both palms are facing up. Back hand is in line with the shoulder. Top hand in line with your crown as you push the sky away. Hug the belly into the spine as we twist from the ribs. I gaze into the back fingertips. All right, and then we're gonna inhale, come back to center. Exhale, do the same twist on the second side. Keep the belly hugging into the spine, opening through the ribs. Keep extending out through those back fingertips. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, widen the hips and folding over that front, that side leg. Sorry, I just turned sideways so you could see the twist. So but we're back in the same position here. Okay, so keep the knee really bent if you need to as well. So if it feels tight, just bend the knee. And if it's super uncomfortable with the toes facing forwards, you can just adjust it. But we're just playing around with a different variation. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to lift up through the core and using our core to move off so the back is really nice and round and where the core is really active. Like we're moving underwater as we explore that semicircle. Now you can bring your right hand either by your knee or maybe a little bit deeper by your foot. And then open it up. Option one, hand to the sky. Option two, reach your hand to the back corner. And open it up here. Just get that really nice stretch. Make sure that you're rolling your tailbone under or squeezing the glutes, making sure there's no crunching in the back. Opening up. And then when you're ready, Come back sideways, bring that hand down and then push into the shin, inhale up, exhale, drag and twist. Just twisting towards the left. So you exhale, draw the belly in, keep twisting from the ribs, shoulders away from the ears, extending out through that back hand. Inhale to center, exhale, second side. Keep the belly hugging in. Twisting from the ribs, opening to the right. Inhale back, exhale, widen the hip, and coming down for a third one here. And so just breathing into the back of the body. 
breathe the back of that right leg. Take one more breath here. When you're ready, let's lift through the core, rounding the spine, fingers are tracing. And then option one, hand in line with knee. Option two, hand in line with heel. Option three, modified camel variation. Tuck the back toes under, hold the back heel. Option four, have that back heel down, holding that back heel. And then coming up and reaching out, opening up. Keep rolling the tailbone under, get this beautiful opening up through the front. The body, the other side of the body. Breathing into wherever you're feeling that opening and that stretch. When you're ready, hug the belly in, inhale coming up, exhale coming into your twist. Taking the belly to the side, twisting from the ribs. Now let's inhale back to center, exhale second side. All right, when you're ready, inhale back to center. Exhale, bring the hands down, bring the knee back in. Come into a little bit of free fall movement and then you can either come back into child's pose or you can come back into uh, down dog or you can go through a flow whatever, however you're feeling. So take a few moments here. And sometimes you can come out of that. And that's a little bit of free fall movement and then rolling the bum back to the heels when you're ready. Maybe stretching out or maybe if you're feeling a little bit of uh, energy rushing through the body, bring your hands in, stacking one fist on top of the other and resting the forehead onto the fist. So sometimes as we do all these camel poses or modified camels or back bends, we feel all this, uh, we're doing all this squeezing through our kidneys and our adrenals at the back of the body. So sometimes we might feel a lot of uh, warmth, coolness, a tingling blood and energy flowing through the body as we release out of these poses. So take your time here. And if you need to walk anything out or you wanna shake anything out or do any kind of somatic movement, just listening to your body. Otherwise you can just come down and just melt down. Take a few breaths here. Keep on the tip of the tongue on your roof of the mouth behind the two front teeth. Check in with the body, notice how you're feeling. Maybe how you feel on one side compared to the other. When you're ready, let's come back into open child. If you've got your fist stacked, take the hands out. Press the forehead on the ground, bring the hands out. Maybe sway the hips from side to side. And then we're gonna roll up into tabletop. Let's come through knees, chest and chin. And then Sphinx or Baby Cobra. Let's do two on each side as we exhale, hug the belly in, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, exhale to the other side. Inhale, exhale back to the first side. And then inhale, exhale, second side. All right, rolling the chin into the throat and rolling back into down dog. Let's just have a nice little stretch here for a moment. Keep widening out across the back. Out across the shoulders, rolling the arms back to the floor as we draw the ribs, lower ribs back to the hips. Walking out the legs. All right, and then we're ready. Let's come forwards again into tabletop. Let's do the second side. So we restack the wrists underneath the shoulders. Push down into the shin, take your right leg back, left hand forwards, create your pointer here. Let's find our balance. So let's push into the shin of your supporting foot. So that gives you a little bit more support and then start to lift up through your core. But at the same time, we're reaching our fingertips away from our toes. Maybe feeling that sort of twisting motion and then lifting the uh, ribs to hips, belly to spine, bottom of your left shoulder towards the top of your right glutes. Feel everything activate, stabilize a bit more. And then let's exhale, start to round and curl, chin to chest, elbow to knee. Or chin to throat, inhale, lengthen. Exhale and round. 
lifting the belly. One more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release that hand back down. Okay, open that hip to the side and then tracing a circle with that knee, breathing into the hip and then back the other way. And then inhale, extend that foot back. So starting to the square hip as we square the hip, keep lifting out through the inner thigh. And then now we open it to the side as we lift up to the outer thigh. Bring that foot out to the side and then bring your toes to the floor. Toes in line with knee, inhale, come up. I'm just gonna swivel around. All right, so from here, doing exactly the same on the second side. So if you want, you can grab your blocks and have them there, otherwise just bend the knee. Legs in the spine, relax the shoulders. Okay, so yeah, if it's more comfortable, you can always see. So sometimes, so when you do this one, if it's really uncomfortable, you can just straighten that foot out like that, or like to make it front, or even just like this with your, with your knee sort of bent. Okay, or you can bring the blocks down. All right, so when you're ready, lengthen the spine, widen it through the hip crease, belly hugs in. Inhale as we exhale, coming forwards, bend the knee a little bit if you need to have put your hands on your blocks. And just taking some nice deep breaths here. Give you some gentle movement as well. So we're keeping the weight in our core and the hip, and then maybe just some walking or circling. Just breathing into it. Ready, let's come up off the hands, bring the weight back into your core, and then we're rounding the spine as we toes are facing forwards now. As we gently start to use the core to move ourselves across, as we move across, you're feeling that stretch through every part of your back. Bring your hand in line with your knee, in line with your toes, and then take the right hand to the sky. Open it up here, reaching out, keep lifting out of your obliques on the underside. So Wrapping that shoulder underneath, but it feels okay. Let me take that top hand out and just get that really nice opening through that right side of your body. Maybe opening through the heart a little bit more, taking the eye gaze up if that feels good. And then let's push into the shin, engage through your core. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come into your dragon twist. That right leg is straight, toes are pointing forwards. Back hand is in line with the shoulder, both palms facing up. Keep the spine long, belly hugs in as you twist from the ribs and opening out towards the back head. Keep reaching that top hand up. Inhale back to center. Exhale, second side. Inhale back. Exhale, widen the hip and then Coming forwards. Some nice deep breaths here. Let's engage the core. Let's slowly trace our fingers as we wind ourselves across. The mat in our semicircle. Other now your left hand can either be in line with the knee, maybe back a little bit further if you want to go deeper, in line with the heel. Engage and change the angle of your left foot if you like, and then opening up, stretching out here. Keep lifting out of the hips. Keep rolling your tailbone under. We're reaching to the sky, reaching to the side, or reaching to the back corner or to the back wall. Opening up, really breathing into it. And then when you're ready, engage your core. Inhale up, exhale, twist. Really getting that opening through the front and the sides today. And the belly hugs in. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist at the second side. Inhale, 
Inhale back, third set. Exhale, widen the hip, folding forwards under the leg. And get ready, lifting through the core. Belly hugs in, let's slowly line us, hugs across to the other side. So find your option for your hand. Once again, it can be in line with the knee, it can be a little bit further back. You can have your toes tucked under, holding the back heel or holding onto the back heel. Keep rolling the tailbone under, find your option here. And then opening up. Really engaging through the underside of the body, really lifting up, feeling supported, and really opening up through the front. Belly hugs in, inhale up, exhale, twisting towards the right. Belly hugs in, inhale back, exhale, twisting to the side. Let's inhale back to center. Exhale, release the hands, releasing the feet. And from here, gently melting back or any kind of free form movement if you need to walk anything out. And then we can just come back into our child's pose. Or if you want to do, if you're feeling very energetic, you want to do a flow, feel free to do so. Otherwise, just come back in. Are you stacking the other fist on top, resting your forehead onto the fist? And just taking some nice, deep, beautiful breaths here into the body. Taking the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth behind the two front teeth. And just checking in with the body. Notice how you're feeling. Noticing any subtle changes, any sensations. All full of feeling. Lot of energy flowing through the body that's normal and just breathing into it and just letting everything assimilate. And you feel like everything is back to normal and you're ready. You bring the knees out wide, bring the hands up. Stretch out an open child. Yeah, option for flow through. If you feel like you want to relax, remain in child's pose, feel free to do so. Otherwise, I'm going to roll up. Tuck the toes under. Exhale, slide back into down dog. Stretching it out here. So just really honoring your body wherever it's at, listening to how you're feeling. So as we're doing all that squeezing through our kidneys and adrenals, sometimes it's, um, especially if we've been a little bit uh, running around, sometimes you might just want to give yourself a little bit of integration time. Otherwise, we're going to come through and so we're going to come forward, come back onto our knees, come through knees, chest and chin, come back into your back bend, and then just one more on each side, just giving that little... Squeezing once again, exhale, looking over the shoulder, keep the tailbone rolling under, inhale, exhale, and last one, inhale, exhale across, all right, inhale back, exhale, rolling your chin into that throat and come back into down dog. Stretch out through your back here, keep widening out across the four corners of your back, Widening through your hips and collarbones. Not melting your heart down a little bit. And then when you're ready, of course, come back onto the knees, restack the wrists underneath the shoulders, coming back into tabletop. Let's come in to thread the needle now. So making sure that everything is stacked, we're going to come into uh, three little preps. So we're going to take the right hand up, inhale. As you exhale, we're going to round the spine, chin to throat, and then we're going to tap the back knee. Okay, so this is coming through a nice round spine rather than just the shoulder moving. Okay, and then we're going to inhale, unwind yourself. Exhale, rolling down. Tapping. One more. Inhale, open. Exhale, round and tap. So 
Three to the shoulder, inhale, lengthen, exhale, hug your belly in. Now we're hugging the belly into the spine as we hug our, our shoulder. Inhale, open, exhale, hug the belly in as we hug the shoulder. And then one more. Inhale, open, exhale and hug. All right, we're gonna thread it through. So make sure you leave enough space for your spine. So inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, slide that hand just underneath the wrist. Make sure it's not all, make sure it's not too close to your knees. So when it's underneath the wrist, so when you come down, come and bring your side of the shoulder and side of the head on the mat so that your spine is nice and long and we don't feel like we're sort of squished on the side. So if I bring my hand too close in, I feel this compression through my ribs. So make sure that that hand is out a little bit further. Okay, so make sure your spine's nice and long. Push back into your knees. Inhale here and as you exhale, keep the knees pushing into the ground. Keep the belly hugging to the spine so our hips don't roll to one side and bring your other hand by your face. As you exhale, you're gonna to start to roll that top shoulder back. Keep pushing the knees into the floor, that's your foundation. And as you roll the top shoulder back, you should feel this really nice stretch across your shoulder blades. Keep lifting up through that top shoulder. When your shoulders are stacked, if you like, you can take that front, top front hand and walk it out along your head or beyond your head. And you're just feeling this nice opening up through the back. Just breathing into it here. So find your option. If it doesn't feel comfortable, keep that hand like this so you can bring it out. You're starting to walk that front hand across to the opposite side of your mat. Twisting from the ribs. All right, releasing that front hand, bring it back next to your face. Hug the belly into the spine, inhale, open it up. Now we're gonna straighten the right leg, swivel on the left knee, come into wild thing to release here. So just coming into this beautiful counter stretch once again and opening the heart here. Exhale, hand comes down, knee comes down. Come into a little bit of free form movement here if that feels good. Help come through a flow or into child's pose, whatever feels good for you. And when you're ready, let's come back into neutral. Let's do the second side. So from here, I'm going to turn the other way, so I'm facing you guys. So we're going to take the left hand, inhale, open it to the sky. Eye goes up. Exhale, rounding, tucking the pelvis under and then rounding the spine as we tuck the back opposite knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, open, exhale, round and tap. Inhale, let's open, exhale, draw the belly into the spine as we tap the shoulder. Inhale, open, exhale, tap. And then one more here. Exhale, belly hugs in, tapping. And then inhale, open, exhale, slide that hand out, make sure it's just underneath the shoulder, push back into the knees, push back into the hips, come onto the side of the shoulder, side of the head. Keep hugging your belly into the spine and then bring your other hand just by your face, inhale, as you maybe come onto the fingertips, as you exhale, you can roll that top shoulder back, get that beautiful stretch. Back through your shoulders, make sure your neck and head is nice and straight in line with your spine. Breathing into it here. Standing up through the spot of fingers. Breathing into the back. Once your shoulders are stacked, if you like, you can take that top hand out. Breathing into the back of the body, keeping the belly hugging into the spine. Keep pushing the knees back into the floor. Keep the belly hugging into the spine to protect your spine as we twist. Maybe walking that top hand around. All right, when you're ready, let's bring that front hand back in next to the face, pushing into the mat. Inhale, open, straightening the left leg, sibling on the right knee. Maybe come bring that straight leg around and then come back into wild thing. Stretching it out here. Exhale, hand comes down. 
knee comes down, and we're coming back into a little bit of free form movement. Ready, roll the bum back onto the heels. And then from here, can I just relax in your child's pose? We can roll up and we'll come into a nice, easy, supported forward fold after this. So take your time here. Take a few breaths if you like. Maybe stack in the fists if you're feeling a lot of energy moving through the body. Just stack the fists, otherwise, you can just rest your forehead on the mat. Softening through the hips, the belly and the chest, feeling the weight of your torso just melting onto the thighs. Feeling the weight of your forehead on the mat, if you like. You can maybe just gently turn the head from side to side, like you're saying no, just getting a nice little massage through the forehead or the third eye. Just breathing into the back of the body as you exhale, just let the soften. Ready, very slowly start to walk into your head, rolling up through your spine, lengthen up through the crown, shoulders away from the ears. Maybe some little movements with the shoulders in one direction, back the other way. Maybe just turning the head from one side to the other, mobilizing the neck. Rolling the chin to the throat, and then turning the head from one, rolling it from one side to the other. Okay, then you can mobilize the neck. Let's come into cobbler pose to finish this morning. So we're going to come into, uh, bring the bring your bum onto the floor, bring the soles of your feet together. So we'll start with a little butterfly. Hopefully our hips feel quite nice and open from our uh, um, flossing at the start. But we'll just gently feather the knees up and down for a moment. So just tune into the hips, mobilize them a little bit more. Now, from so butterflies, when we have our heels very close in, I want you to slide your heels out now. So you're creating a little diamond with your legs. All right, grab your blocks now, and we want a nice round spine as we come forwards. So you can stack your blocks, and then from here, we're gonna, so we've done a lot of uh, part opening, a lot of back bending this morning. So as I count up close now, I want you to start to roll back onto, uh, roll back onto your pelvis, and then start to round the spine. And as you keep that nice round spine, you're gonna come forwards onto your blocks, find your option here. So it's just kind of like stacking them to a comfortable distance. Otherwise, you can put the blocks on your feet as well. And so we've got this very supported forward fold here. Okay, so your hands can be wherever is comfortable. You can bring them out by your shoulders or you can bring them even be, uh, behind you. And that's going to add a little bit more weight onto your torso. Otherwise, you can maybe start to melt your forehead to your toes or you can... So just, yeah, it's just, just stacking it to whatever is a comfortable position. So you can have... if. You, and then the hands can be, yeah, you can just relax them behind you. If you relax them behind you, that's going to just add more weight onto your back, which is going to help you come forward a little bit more. Keep the shoulders nice and wide. Just keep your belly hugging in towards the spine. So as you keep your belly hugging in towards the spine, you might feel a little bit more release and opening through the back of the body. And then melting yourself down. Breathing into wherever you're feeling, a nice little stretch. Expanding with the inhalation as you exhale, just continue to soften and melt. Bring a message from the mind to the body, just to soften and release. 
Just giving yourself permission to let go. Widen up to the hips. Touch your feet, maybe give yourself a little foot massage if that feels nice. Okay, you can massage your toes if you can reach it even way onto your feet. We've got reflexology points in our feet that correspond with every single organ in the body. So we give your feet some love. We stand up on our feet all day, all that blood and energy is flowing into our feet and our toes. So give a little love. Right there, whatever feels good. And just keep melting down. Widen that across the back. Shoulders relaxed. Keeping the face nice and soft and relaxed. Notice you're holding tension and your face, your eyebrow center, your eyes and your jaw, start to relax those areas. All right, let's take a couple more breaths here. Ready, engage your core, pelvic floor lifts, belly hugs in, roll yourself back up on vertebra at a time. Lengthen up through the spine, relax your shoulders away from the ears. Remove your blocks out of the way. And then from here, you can just gently maybe slide yourself down a little bit, slide your legs out, and then roll yourself onto your back. Make sure the back of your neck is free. Make any adjustments that you need to. So well, I actually feel quite nice here, but if you need to, feel free to hug the knees into the chest or a little block. Let's just extend the legs out to make any adjustments that you need. Keeping the spine long, shoulders relaxed away from the ears, resting the hands by the hips. Back of the neck is long, rolling the chin in towards the throat as you lengthen up through the back of the neck. Tip of the tongue resting on the roof of the mouth behind the two front teeth, so the energy circuits are connected. Uh, slightly closed, but slightly touching. Just keeping everything nice and soft and relaxed. Just taking some nice, deep, beautiful breaths here. Just some nice, full body breaths, drawing that breath all the way down into your hips, into your belly, feeling that expansion of the belly like a balloon. Belly, feeling the full capacity of your lungs from the bottom, middle, top, upside and back, breathing into the heart. And up your throat, and as you exhale, just let everything out. Deepen in the breath. And let's just soften a little bit. Maybe you can start to widen out across the shoulders, the collarbones. Soft and heavy. Sinking down into the earth and just feeling well supported by the earth in this year. Okay, 
Uh, and then what do you need to do here? I just stay in Shavasana. Let's go on this light and another five, ten minutes, continuous. 